fights happening on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of criticism about the NFL the last couple years about it not being as violent as it used to be. Yeah. This fight promises to be violent. So what do you have to say to football fans that maybe are looking for something I'm a, big, a little more violent to, to watch I'm a huge football Sunday. fan, man. Uh, you know, so at this point in time, I don't really well, know you guys are going up against football. So. Yeah, I, I, I totally understand that. But yeah, yeah I'll box and go straight to my football channels, man. So you don't really miss much. Um, obviously, both of you guys go back a long ways. You never really expected to fight each other. Just that, uh, jokingly, you know, he, he mentioned it to me, uh, like he, he stated earlier on, uh, when Mayweather McGregor press conference, press tour was on, he came up to me, he's like, Vic, I'm moving to 147, better get out of the way. I was like, ha ah. <laughs> Love you too, bro. I'll see you there. But I uh, know it's just mutual respect, you know. Uh, we, we joke around, we play around. Uh, but uh, ultimately, hey, we're friends that, uh, just like Devin Alexander and I, you know, we're dear friends, even still, you know. Uh, he contacted me the day after my fight, um, and he says, Vic, man, I, I'm hurting, man. I go, you're telling me, bro. Me too, you know, so I was like, love you, man. So it doesn't change anything, you know, it's just part of the game, man. It's our job. <laughs> You've had a lot of up and downs in your career, but you're still headlining cards every time you fight for the most part. Absolutely. Um, is, is that what keeps you, I guess, continuing your career? Is that you're still the main event? No, 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 absolutely not. No, no, no. Um, I actually didn't ask for this kind of fight. Not this big. Um, I thought we were finding somebody like Rios, you know? This is the fourth time I prepared for Rios. Uh, to throw all that training camp to waste to be the fourth camp that uh, they pulled out for whatever reason, God knows what. Uh, I wasn't going to waste me being in shape. So I took on another, like, another match, another war. So here we are, man. Were you disappointed that the Rio's fight didn't come out? I was very disappointed because to the grapevine, it's always, oh, Victor pulled out, Victor this, Victor that. It's always me, 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 but it hasn't been me once. Well, what's been the actual. Uh, Al <laughs> Hammond, myself, Sam Watson, we stayed here many times. We're here. But in the media, it somehow flops. It's weird. I don't know. At this point in time, I'm moving on my career. And I'm doing a good job of it. So we're headlining once again. But to get back to your point, I'm not only fighting because I'm a main event. I seriously wasn't expecting to be a main event. I thought I was going to be opening for somebody, which I don't mind either. But it's boxing. Do you expect to have the home field? I mean, you guys are both Southern California fighters. It's happening in you know, uh, Ontario. You guys should both have I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not too sure about that, but I can maybe. I don't know. It could be up in the air. I'm from Kansas, man. He's from Cali. I mean, you've been here. You've been here. Yeah, yeah. I've been here. Uh, all my crew. <laughs> yeah, I got like, 17 years old and, and on, so uh, I don't know. Be interesting. But you claim so in California. Like, oh, you're from Kansas, yeah, yeah. but you're, you're from Yeah, I couldn't go back to Kansas, man. It's, uh, I took my, my gal out there for the first time, and, and my son, what did you do all that time when you were growing up? I was like, I guess that's why I got good at boxing. Uh, and then one more thing I want to ask you is, the last time you fought like a Southern California kid in a big fight, you fought Jose Cito at the Staples Center. Yeah. And it, and I remember being at the fight and the crowd was really kind of on your side and it's sort of sort of flipping like the crowd maybe got into the fight a little bit and got it to be an aggressive fight. Are you going to be able to keep the crowd out of the, out of the fight? And just... Oh, absolutely. I mean, the last, that particular fight, I mean, my, my jaw shattered in the fourth round, so it was kind of hard to just keep even the guy away, you know, for the next five rounds. So that was a tough one because I personally thought that the coach was going to stop the fight in the fourth round when it was shattered and broken and go to the scorecards, but that didn't happen, man, so I had to keep fighting in the ninth round. I called the fight, man. It was a lot of pain. Shattered in half right here. This bone was under. Followed by this. Back with two metal plates, 12 screws, and wire me shut. That's horrible. Is that the worst injury you've ever made? That's the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my life. I've never experienced anything near that. Not even close. I don't want to Did that ever make you have second thoughts about continuing? No, not at all. My last fight, I got, I got uh, against Devin Alexander. I took an elbow, accidental elbow, in the second round. Shattered all my orbital. It's part of the game, you know? Big stuff. Uh, I'm good.